Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight. Today we're going to be talking about Wonder Studio and how you can, I was able to take this scene from Wonder Studio into Omniverse for real-time rendering and for path tracing as well, right? So this is real-time, this is path tracing, and you can see if I pause the animation right now, you can see the beautiful lighting that you get with this scene, right? So this scene started off as this uh, video in Wanda Studio. I was able to upload this particular clip and it came from like a royalty-free platform on Envato. And when I play back, you can see this gentleman, you know, dancing in his <laughs> kitchen, having so much fun. Uh, like sometimes when I'm in the kitchen, I don't think I do a dance like that, but... Yeah, when my wife uh, prepares me a really beautiful tasty meal, I'm always happy to dance around like that so I can eat it. But anyway, this is where the video started out as, and I was able to process it. Uh, so this was during the beta testing uh, period. So we had access to the pro version of uh, the Wonder Studio. And with the pro version, you get the AI mockup, you get the clean plate, and you get the alpha mask. But most importantly is that you're able to get the blender scene, right? Under the recording of the, the this particular uh, like interpretation of this video and the conversion, uh, camera track and character pass were not available. But the blender scene was. So I was able to download this blender scene. And I'm, so when I downloaded it, I was able to ex uh, download also the blender uh, 3.6 alpha USD branch. This particular version, you can find it inside the Omniverse launcher. And you can go to the exchange over here. I created a video that shows how to install this particular uh, connector. And it's really, it's Blender with a connector inside of it, right? So you find it over here and just click on that to download it. I've already installed it. So right now, this is the version that I'm using. Uh, so by the recording of this video, this is what I had. But maybe in the future you're looking at something different, but that's what the version I'm using right now. So this version enables you to load any Blender scene, but most importantly, it enables you to export that scene as a USD file, right? So if I go to the library over here and click on the Blender tab, Blender 3.6 Alpha tab, click on Launch. So it opens up Blender. So I'm starting with, uh, this is Blender 3.6. And you're gonna see uh, the flash, the, the splash screen, the 3.6 alpha. And I'm gonna show you the file that I was able to load. So I went to file over here. Let me do see if I can find a recent file. So this is gonna be Blender. Uh, this is mockup dance over here. So that's the Blender scene that I was able to download. And if I look, rotate around, you can see the scene. Now. When I first imported this scene, it didn't have the dining room. Okay, just so just as a, uh, a disclaimer, this it looks like this. So the scene that you get from Blender, uh, the one that, sorry, the one that you get from Wonder Dynamics, uh, it only has like when I play back, it only has the character, and as you can see, she's in front of the table, whereas in the video, this character is at the back, you know, behind the counter. And so I wanted to be able to take this scene, and that's the beauty of having the Blender scene, and then recreate the scene inside of uh, Blender over here. And if I turn on the textures, you can see what the character looks like. Let's give it a second. It's uh, loading, compiling shaders, compiling shaders. <laughs> I know. I think it's uh, JS Films that hits compiling shaders in uh, the Unreal Engine. It's like you can't go around it, you know, compiling shaders. So we have to wait for it to compile shaders, just like you have to compile. Anyway, there are the compile. The shaders are compiled, and uh, if I rewind and play back, you can see the animation now. Just think something to keep in mind that at the bottom, because the uh, Wonder Studio is not seeing the ground plane. Like it's uh, taking the footage like this. This is all it sees. If it has the ground plane, then you'll be able to see like foot plant, feet planting in the advanced section. But because the only 
camera view that it has of this scene is of this gentleman. It doesn't see where his feet are planted. So it doesn't do a good job of uh, like planting this. It needs to see where the feet are for the AI to be able to uh, determine if the ground is there so it can plant the feet, right? So right now this is all we get. And so it also, you can see it here in Blender, right? So the cool thing, I mean, uh, when it comes to ma like Hollywood magic is that you can always always cut things out that are not needed. So we just need to create a counter. And what I did was I used the uh, the does to Blender tool inside of another scene. And I was able to bring in the environment in that particular scene. So that's what you see here. That is a da an environment from Daz Studio. It's a kitchen. And you can see how I was able to set up this scene right there, okay? So once you have the scene set up and all the lights are set up, uh, then you'll be able to use the Omniverse tab over here. Click on export, right? And then make sure you in include the animation over here. Make sure the in under general, it, you know, all these settings are as that and make sure the geometry is included. So check whatever is needed to be sent to Omniverse. And then when you're done, just click OK, find a place. And I recommend that you put it in the local uh, folder, like in the local host. And put uh, that you'll be, it'll be much easier for you to load that scene. But you can also put it on a, another drive and find it. So export it. And I put it in the local universe, local host projects, Wanda Studio. And you can see I have two versions over there. So when you're ready, then just go to the launcher, back over to the launcher go to USD Composer and launch it. It used to be called uh, Omniverse Create. Now it's USD Composer. Launch it and then you get this. And then all you got to do is uh, let's go to Layout, go to Default. And as you can see over here in my root under the projects, I have the Wonder Studio folder and I was able to double click on this and open it over here right? And once the scene is loaded, then you can easily switch between real time or path tracing. So when you are doing the final render, switch to path tracing. If you're doing just previewing to see what the animation looks like, uh, you can click on animation or control plus two. And then you're able to rotate around the scene in real time and look at that, right? So this is much faster. So the comparison is that if I were in uh, blender over here and I switch to like cycles uh, the rendering is going to take a little bit longer so right now if we go let's check so it's cycles and I'm actually using GPU computer experimental but you can see that it's it even though cycles is a uh, path tracing you can see how long it's taken to refresh and if I switch to uh, EV which is uh, the equivalent of real-time rendering in blender uh, again, you can see the difference, right? It doesn't look as great. And I mean, you can still play back, you can rewind and play the animation, but you don't get the nice lighting still that will come hand. Like, that's why Omniverse to me is a better place to start. Look, this is real time, right? I've selected real time. And when I play back, the shadows are much better. <laughs> the lighting looks much better in here than it does inside of uh, Blender, right? And then if you want to do like real time, rather path tracing, you just switch to that and you're getting this nice global illumination and final gathering on the character. And look at the textures, my goodness. <laughs> right and you get like a nice almost a pixel like render right so that is why i recommend using omniverse composer which is actually free right now you don't have to pay for it and if you have a good gpu you're gonna find yourself getting like really fast renders so this one mine is an rtx 6000 ada generation it's about uh 48 gigabytes of ram and you can see how long this frame took to render at 1337.722. If I select increase this all the way, it's, uh, it's almost full screen, 1332.722. So that is taking like 512 samples. It's going to take about, let's see how long it takes, 
10 seconds, 10.2, 10.62 seconds to get this nice render. So that's the value of Omnibus. If you have a good GPU, you're gonna find yourself having a much faster render than even uh, Blender, right? So that's why I was saying that uh, this is a really good path, like a workflow of being able to take your scene, you know, you start off with this footage that you've rendered here and you can actually match the lighting in this scene go ahead and uh, set up your kitchen <laughs> you know if you have an environment that looks similar to this you can definitely set it up so now the issue of the uh, character being in front of the counter that you encounter that you see here is taken care of because now you can place the character anywhere you want in the scene and uh, preview it using real time and i can press play and you can see the animation of the character isn't that amazing? <laughs> so I do encourage you guys to try out uh, USD Composer from Omniverse and also download, when you download your scenes from uh, uh, Wonder Studio, from Wonder Dynamics, that's the value of uh, having a Blender scene. So right now, uh, I think for the free version, you got, you're not really able to download anything but and i think the light version you're you're not able to download the blender scene uh, i believe you have to have the pro version to be able to get the blender scene but when you do get the blender scene this is what you'll be able to do you'll be able to recreate scenes uh, and then create real scenes and update update the lighting in where you want it you can even use da studio environments anything that you can import into Co composer will be able to render fast using uh, real time and or path tracing so that's what i wanted to walk you through guys that uh yes you can actually download your blender scene and if you're not happy with the final render here you can uh, load it using the blender version that has composer in it the usd exporter it's a nucleus and uh, you can find that by going to the Omniverse uh, launcher and go to the exchange, go to Blender over here, the branch, the USD branch, and install it. Just click on that to install it. And when it's done, go to the library and click uh, the, the Blender 3.6 Alpha and launch it and then load the scene. And then you'll be able to export it as USD and bring it into omniverse composer <laughs> so you can imagine how much you can add like really beautiful characters in here add friends for your characters and extend it just beyond just having a flat render this gives you more control over that scene and you're able to add more awesome things in the scene and then you can even adjust the camera here to maybe 15 millimeter so you can see the whole environment and set up the characters in. Like again, if you have a video that shows the ground plane, you'll be able to get like foot planting over there. But for now, really, we just wanna like get a, get a shot like this and see our character dancing. Go ahead and play, and I've actually turned on loop, and you can see the character in the kitchen doing her dance. And although this is driven by <laughs> this source footage right here, okay? Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. If you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video, videos like this. And as I'm always on the hunt for things that can help us tell our stories uh, fast enough to bring those ideas out of our brains onto the screen. And uh, Omniverse is one of those tools that I think is really handy. And you can pair it with uh, Wonder Studio to be able to take your characters from a video download the blender scene and then uh, take it to blender with a usd export uh, over here and send it into the usd composer for omnibus thank you so much and god bless you as always much love i keep praying for you guys please stay safe bye for now and dare to dream big